Hey fragrance friends and enthusiasts, welcome back. It's Benjamin here at the Centaur Fragrance Channel showcasing another beautiful fragrance. So I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. Today we're going to be talking about Garuda from the House of Juliet Mad. Before we jump into the notes, before we jump into the fragrance, yes, the juice does matter than the presentation, but check this out. This is actually a dual, uh, you know, glass. One side is a frosted glass and one side is clear. Uh, hopefully that comes through on the camera. It's absolutely stunning and the presentation is gorgeous. You would expect something this beautiful for a niche price. The cap is pretty substantial and it's very tight, which uh, really matters a lot with a good presentation. So the notes here are bergamot, uh, cumin, pink pepper, and the fragrance then dries down to more of a patchouli fragrance with patchouli, rum, spices, um, you know, a little bit of amber, some cedar, some cashmere, and some leathery overtones. There is some saffron here, and that's how I really want to jump into how I smell the fragrance. I smell some saffron, but it's a little bit deeper. The saffron almost acts like lavender, and it almost comes off as a little bit medicinal. It's a really interesting lavender. I don't remember smelling a lavender like this in any fragrance ever, but uh, mostly this is a rum patchouli spiced fragrance. That's mostly of what you're getting. Um, this fragrance can look very rugged and uh, very aggressive when you look at it you see notes like patchouli and rum and cumin and spices and you might get afraid of this fragrance um this fragrance actually is very very refined and uh is very parisian in how it comes off to me very uh french it, where it's very mellow and refined and almost like cool and cold and um, this fragrance almost comes off that way. Even the notes are very warming with like spices and amber. And uh, of course, saffron is usually kind of warming as well. Um, somehow they made these notes that are usually warming. And, uh, you know, they're still very rich, don't get me wrong. But they feel a little bit more cool and calm and reserved as far as notes, notes, those notes go. Anyways, this fragrance does smell almost like one of those pirate fragrances. Or does feel, smell very charming. It grabs attention. We'll talk about the compliment factor here in a second but guys this is a special fragrance i would actually been wanting this one for a very long time and this is like a refined pirate's fragrance maybe it's a pirate wedding type of fragrance it's uh, really really nice it's very refined but it really has a lot of these characters um, that make it very bold again this fragrance is unisex all fragrances are perhaps unisex but to me this one does lean a little bit more masculine because it's so confident and bold with patchouli and rum and spices and leather and saffron it's got a lot of big, bold, uh, perhaps more aggressive feeling notes to some noses. But again, very refined here, very smoothed out, and uh, and uh, very well composed. The amber does play a bigger part in the fragrance as the you know it dries down. You start to get notice a little bit more of the amber. But I feel like the patchouli always is there and always is a little bit stronger than the amber. And I kind of like that. I like patchouli to be, if it's well done, to play a bigger part. But uh, this fragrance has a lot of depth and a lot of components really going on on and it's very well crafted uh you know kudos to this brand for making such a beautiful creation so uh you know performance wise this thing is no slouch whatsoever you'll get nine ten hours where it's pretty noticeable after nine or ten hours um you know this 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 cashmere and the cedar and the amber really is what you're getting with the fragrance and a little bit of the hint of the spices so um this fragrance will serve you very well and will get you through any occasion or situation you're most likely to be in. Again, this is more of a refined, uh, a specialty fragrance, a niche fragrance, and I would imagine that you would wear this fragrance for special occasions. Maybe if you're a little bit more reserved, but yet still a very confident, strong person underneath it. But again, you just you don't show your strength. You're not in people's faces, or you don't really like to grab, you know, really demand people's attention. This fragrance would do you very well, and it just has. I think the right amount of performance projection certainly is above average but again not really strong and not it's not beast mode but it is, does have a presence to it uh, of course with how it's, uh, its depth and its weight and its richness also helps with that as well so it is noticeable it does get attention but this again is more of a Parisian style it's not made to be in people's faces or reach across a room or fill up a room or anything like that um, you know long uh, siage wise and when you walk past people or when you sit somewhere for a while, 
Uh, this one will create you a very nice bubble. This one has great sillage, uh, pretty much monstrous sillage. If you want to say anything is beast mode about this fragrance, it's probably the sillage. When you walk past people, you will have a scent trail with this one, and people will, will uh, might want to, I don't know, chase you down or might be whispering about you behind your back. So uh, compliment factor-wise, this one did surprisingly well. Again, even though it's a very rugged fragrance with amber and uh, saffron, and uh, cumin and patchouli and these really rugged notes and the spice and the and the rum rum is a really nice note but might not be super mass appealing either uh this one surprisingly does get more attention and is more likable and again i think that has to do with how this fragrance really tries to smooth things over and have this fragrance more composed and kind of tries to focus on a well-blended fragrance uh you know with richness but it still lets some of the fragrance speak out and uh a little bit from here and there which kind of grabs the attention it makes it a little bit more unusual um, as a composition so really really nice fragrance um, I, it does grab attention it smells opulent it smells rich this sm stuff so smells classy I don't know if I would say it smells posh it's uh, you know it does smell classy enough and it does smell quality enough but again it's, it has a little bit of brashness to it. it has a little bit of an edge to it where I don't know if I would say this is super super high end for classy events perhaps you could wear this in the office perhaps you could wear this in a very formal situation but I think that you would stand out a little bit too much for somebody who has really high class to want to you know, wear this fragrance in a very uh, formal or classy situation. So really nice fragrance though. I really enjoy it. It's great. Again, the cumin, I, I want to reiterate in my final thoughts uh, that the cumin is not scary here. There's very little of it. It blends with the saffron, but it does give this fragrance a leathery overtone, but it's not animalic here. It's not body odorish. It's very well done. This is not a cumin dominated fragrance at all. And um, getting into my final thoughts with the price and what I think about this fragrance, rounding this all up, this is a wonderful fragrance, guys. You can, I mean, this is not a cheap fragrance. It's a 50, 50 mil, if I remember right. Yes, it's a 50 mil. And the price is about $200, and then you have to pay shipping and all that. Most likely, you know, you might not be able to find this at your local boutique or where you live. So this is not a cheap one. Uh, that's kind of expensive for 100 mils equivalent. I mean, 50 mils is more than enough. You'll probably never get through this 50 mil. And it's very strongly composed. It performs well. But, you know, price per mil, just think about it. 100 mils would be $400. So this is a higher end fragrance. Um, I did save up and uh, wait, you know, for the right deal to pop up on eBay. I was lucky I found somebody who maybe didn't want it, maybe thought it was too rugged. And I think the, the person who was selling it maybe was a lady. So again, if you're a lady, you might not want to blind buy this one. You might want to test it. I find that it's a little bit more rugged and a little bit more pirate-like, but, uh, you know, of course, any lady can wear it if you're confident. If this does work for you, if you're a patchouli lover, um, this also might be for you ladies out there. Anyways, awesome fragrance, worth checking out if you're into the niche game, if you're into the niche world. If you're a patchouli lover, if uh, also if you're an amber lover, this one also might really appeal to you. And also, if you'd like really refined but yet confident fragrances. You know, fragrances that have richness and depth and, uh, you know, really have some character and some real backbone with the fragrance. If you are a guy watching my channel here, um, you might want to go for Ombre Sultan. That fragrance is even more masculine. It's very rich and opulent. That one is by Serge Luton's Ombre Suntal. Worth your money, worth checking out. Might be a little bit more affordable as well over this. Another option instead of this one, ladies, y'all know that you have, uh, you know, some beautiful patchouli options, but you might want to check out Patchouli Noir by Il Profumo, uh, which is a cocoa, like a dry cocoa chocolate fragrance very well done or you could of course you know it's not a patchouli fragrance but of course you could try out oud bouquet if you've never given that a chance it's very rich and opulent uh but uh, you might enjoy that one over this anyways amazing fragrance guys i love this i can't say enough good about it this is niche perfumery and what it's all about in my opinion this has got rich and richness and quality and speaks volumes about what perfumery can be and uh you know this is a very interesting fragrance. Again, bold, strong notes, but they're refined. They're, they're, they're brought you know, together 
in a really harmonious way. And, you know, it's just magical. So anyways, guys, I'll wrap this fragrance review up. Thank you all so much for being here today. I, I appreciate your time. Your time is valuable. And if I made a, a worthwhile review, if my, uh, you know, this fragrance review was worth your time and uh, added value, you know, please help me out. Give a little bit back and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, you know, hit the notification bell and share the video. And if you like, it really helps. Tell a friend. So I'll see you next time, everybody. Wear what you love. Rock what you got. Find those beautiful fragrances. And uh, if, it's, if it's off the beaten path and you fall in love with it, hey, more power to you. And that's what I did. Almost nobody talks about this one. I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace out and bye.